Well, here we are on Friday, July the 26th. Hope you're having a great morning or a great day. Our Bible reading for today is Proverbs chapters 23 through 26. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, you are our God and King, and we want to praise you and thank you this morning for all that you do for us. And Lord God, we're asking for your direction today as we seek uh, in your word, wisdom and instruction. Father, I pray that we will heed your spirit as he speaks to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so chapter 23, verses 4 and 5, it says, Do not overwork to be rich, for riches certainly make themselves wings. Uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't take uh, a lot to get our money gone, doesn't it? Okay, verse 17, is, Don't let your heart envy sinners. But be zealous for the fear of the Lord all day, for surely there's a hereafter, and your hope will not be cut off. Surely we are uh, working toward, living toward eternal life, and uh, our hope cannot be taken from us. Verse 23, buy the truth and do not sell it, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Verse 29 through 35 speaks of the folly of those who linger long at the wine. All right, and that's for those who uh, spend a little bit too much time uh, with uh, alcoholic beverages. All right, verse, uh, chapter 24, verse 11. Deliver those who are drawn toward death and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. This is an admonition for us to make sure that we are being witnesses who, uh, to who we need to be witnesses to because there are those who are being drawn toward death and those who are stumbling to the slaughter and uh, we need to make sure that we are seeking to prevent them from busting hell wide open. He who keeps your, your soul will render to each man according to his deeds. Verse 16, A righteous man may fall at times or seven times and rise again. Through, though the righteous go through the furnace, they come through it refined. They are not exempt from adversity, but God will see them through it. In verse 20, it says, The lamp of the wicked will be put out. Chapter 25, verse 2, It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. You cannot discover God's will. He must reveal it to you. He is pleased to disclose His activity to those whose hearts belong to Him. Verse 6, Do not exalt yourself or stand in the place of the great. For it is better that he say, come up here, than to be put lower. Now there are some people who use this idea as an excuse not to serve or work in the church, saying that they, didn't wanna, they don't want to be considered uh, to run the church, or uh, they don't think they're good enough. And, and what that is, is a lot of times it's false humility. And, uh, and on top of that, they're, they're using it as an excuse to not do anything. Uh, for the Lord. This is a complete contradiction of the Lord's teachings. The Lord tells us that we are to work. We are to be about His business. We are to make sure that we are not only spreading the Word, but we are taking care of, of what, um, uh, what the church's needs are. Okay, so verse 21. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. The Lord will reward you. We're expected to live by a different set of values than the world does. When we return good for evil, we honor God. Chapter 26, verse 10. The great God who formed everything gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. God is just and will judge correctly. We can trust Him to do what is right. Uh, verse 12 speaks of uh, being wise in our own eyes. It says to be wise in our own eyes is to be blind to our faults. Verse 20 says, where there is no talebearer, strife ceases. A talebearer is a gossip. A gossip delights in evil and takes pleasure in causing pain to others. But God honors peacemakers. And verse 26 is a warning to fools, uh, from verse 26 on forward, is a warning to fools, the lazy, gossips, and the deceitful. Here is our thought for today. To love the unlovely is an expression of Christ's love. And Christ is revealed as the one who rewards those who repay evil with good. If thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. Jesus commanded us to love 
your enemies in Matthew chapter 4, verse 44. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your commitment to, to read through the Word every day. I'm praying for God's blessings on you through His Word in Jesus' name.